manage your server, server admin and workspace 8. So that way it's always consistent and you can um, use location-based memory to actually access them. So use again hotkeys uh, to find back those, uh, those applications or classes of applications rather. So uh, the, the need for, uh, for dragging windows around kind of is reduced, especially with gtile, which, um, which is really quite simple. All it does is uh, you activate it with a keyboard shortcut, mm -hmm. and then you select the, uh, the tiles that you want it to take up in the screen. Uh, so uh, you, you can't see at the bottom, but there is a distribute evenly uh, button. So for all the windows that are open on a given workspace, you click on the button and they will uh, spread out uh, in the fashion that, that you, uh, you wish them to go. So again, you'll be able to have all your um, apps alongside each other on the same workspace if you want them with just an extension uh, like Gtile. And so that's it. Uh, I believe that's uh, that's a whole range of extensions that I hope have convinced you that um, that GNOME shell is configurable and that you can uh, refine it to suit your needs. Thank you very much. Uh, we move to um, Tech Hub. Uh, to uh, Mac OS uh, interface. Mac OS X? For example, I talk him, yeah, I swipe out menu and move around. Sorry, is this a this is a remark, right? Like, or what's if yeah. if if people is not that uh, using uh, like Mac Mac OS X interface before, we do. We have a problem. So we have a problem yeah. if they haven't used it before. It's not true. If well, um, that's <laughs> this is new things to them. Is new. If they're coming from Windows. Yeah. Oh, I see. Because um, Windows is the standard. <laughs> but that presents. Well, <laughs> so, <Special eight. laughs> so here, here's the, here, here's the, you know, here's the, the, the problem is we've had 20 years of stagnation in the uh, desktop paradigm development, where we've gotten really used to the incumbent, which is the, the desktop metaphor. Um, OS X has been gradually moving uh, away from it. it, you know, adding expose, adding launchpad, adding workspaces. Uh, Windows is going radical, Windows 8, they're getting it all at once. Uh, and Linux uh, have iterating with, uh, with Unity, with, with GNOME Shell as well. So. It really just depends on where the, where the user comes but from. Even even compared to the the new GNOME three point six and the the Unity, yeah, uh, it seems a uh, uh, no big difference. No big difference. Yeah. Um, I mean, just in in, in, in the look and feel. Mm. Mm. So there's no big difference into between Windows seven and Windows ninety five either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it all depends on uh, so in the details. On, yeah, it's but not just details, but also like uh, if if you look at the thing, right? It's very hard to actually understand whether it will fit your your use case. Because again, like when I switched to Linux, I was like, oh, like Unity and Numshell, same. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm just gonna first use this one. I'll use oh wow, and I I realized that that Unity actually very poorly fits uh, my my use case. Um, of course, I guess I, I could have gotten used to it, but um, when there's be better suited alternatives, uh, you'll offer them. And if you, if there's like tests with people, uh, some elderly people who have never, or basically computer illiterate, uh, and they've watched them and observed them how they interact with with GNOME shell, and uh, yeah, the, the results are pretty 
uh, pretty positive in the sense that yes, in, it is just discoverable if you overcome. I think the biggest problem is is for them to find like the hot corners. Mm -hmm. But if you explain that, then it's uh, it's, it's pretty understandable. Yeah. Is there a, oh, either a way to make GNOME or some other GUI? It, so it seems that GNOME. It's either copying OSX or OSX is copying GNOME or somewhere. There's this general direction. Yeah, sure. Is there another? Is there an open source alternative to the Windows, what, what the Windows 8, Windows whatever paradigm and, uh, of the tiles? Yeah. Um, coming to you in half a year, I suppose. Like, and not, yeah, none that I know of right now, yeah. but uh, that would that would be cool. It, would it like? Because um, <laughs> the, I mean, I I agree with you, but at the same time, I, I think that they uh, they they check a lot of similar boxes uh, in terms of being like these app centric app centric limbs. Um, mm. But uh, yeah, maybe you mean that GNOME, OS X, and Windows Eight all check the same boxes. Similar, yeah, yeah. But again, uh, but Windows 8 is, is far different than yeah, for sure. This sure. paradigm, yeah. But but if you if you look at the um, actual, you know, the the bullet points there, like full screen, mm, yeah, like sure. multitasking, like yeah. oh, uh, you don't do. <laughs> yeah, it's just your your interaction experience. Yeah, it's very different. I think it's 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 mostly due to the the fact of it being like tiles yeah. and. So the, the presentation of, of your options, and then being live tiles as well. So they're kind of like widgets inside of, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, like viewports onto that application. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I, I don't, as of yet, know uh, any alternative. Yeah. I think it's maybe uh, for Windows or Mac, maybe they are, I think the integration between the, 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 the laptop and their mobile devices, is their strategy because Mac wants to integrate iOS devices and Macs. And Windows 8, I think I, I, I chat with, with some uh, classmates working in the uh, Windows model. I think Windows 8 is also maybe a strategic decision of Microsoft. They want to also, they want to uh, have a, a big, big, uh, uh, Decision. Maybe they want to uh, grab the, the, the modern market using the window, Windows 8, 8. I think they are working with Nokia, like they want to develop some advanced Windows phone, especially when Apple, you know, uh, when Steve is done. Uh, within one year, adopting Apple, we can see uh, the Apple is 